In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we uh, gather, we celebrate the uh, memorial of St. Rose of Lima, a 17th century a saint from South America, and ask for her intercession. We also gather calling to mind our sins and ask for the Lord's forgiveness and peace. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, you sent set, set St. Rose of Lima on fire with your love, so that secluded from the world in the austerity of a life of penance, she might give herself to you alone. Grant, we pray, that through her intercession, we may tread the paths of life on earth and drink at the streams of your delights in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Savanus, and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling into mind your work of faith and labor of love and endurance and hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters, loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. You know what sort of people we were among you for your sake. In every place, your faith in God has gone forth so that we have no need to say anything, for they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The, the Lord, Lord takes, takes delight, delight in his people. people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The, the Lord, Lord takes, takes delight, delight in his people. people. Let them praise his name in festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The, the Lord, Lord takes delight in his people. his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Amen. The Lord, Lord takes, takes delight in his, his people. people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You lock the kingdom of heaven before men. You do not enter yourselves, nor do you allow entrance to those trying to enter. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You traverse sea and land to make one convert, 
And when that happens, you make him a child of Gehenna twice as much as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, if one swears by the temple, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gold of the temple, one is obligated. Blind fools, which is greater, the gold or the temple that made the gold sacred? And it, you say, if one swears by the altar, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gift on the altar, one is obligated. You blind ones, which is greater, the gift on the, or the altar that makes the gift sacred? One who swears by the altar swears by it and all that is upon it. And one who swears by the temple swears by it and by him who dwells in it. One who swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by him who is seated on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. In the first reading today, uh, Paul is writing back to the church in Thessalonica, his first letter, and he comments on the fact that, uh, that they received uh, the word in affliction and that this models Jesus, uh, and it models Paul and Silvanus and, and Timothy as well. Just that, that the Thessalonians, when they received the word, Paul notes they received it in affliction. Um, and um, it's a reminder to us that in our own times of affliction, um, that God is, is still speaking a word to us and trying to pierce it, to, to reach us. Um, and that can be consoling in moments when um, we're surrounded with uh, chaos and turmoil, uh, to believe with a deep conviction uh, that God is trying to, to peel back the layers of that chaos, to, to speak a word into us that that steadies and revives. Uh, so today, may you and I, and whatever chaos envelops us, and whatever that looks like in our personal lives, uh, may we have conviction uh, that a good word is trying to reach us, that God is speaking into that. And it's our responsibility to be on the lookout for it, to be listening for it, so that we might receive it well. Please stand for our intentions. We pray for the church, for Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, all clergy and religious, all laymen and women, that by our growth and holiness this day, we might draw others to the good news of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. On this day that we honor St. Rose of Lima, we pray for the peoples of South America, that God would strengthen their faith in his beloved Son. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for missionaries, that God would preserve their zeal and make them outstanding in their witness of faith, hope, and charity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our families, especially those embroiled in chaos or heartbreak or grief, that the Lord might grace them with the ability to listen attentively for his word which revives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, the hospitalized, the homebound, those under hospice care. We ask that the Lord would surround them with the relationships and resources they need for their healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died and those who will die today. Through the intercession of St. Rose of Lima, may all the departed have their sins forgiven and be welcomed to the joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray in a particular way this morning for police officers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, grateful for the witnesses in our lives that point us towards you. Steady us today amongst the storms of life that we might acutely and attentively be listening for your word which revives and steadies. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the virgin blessed Rose of Lima, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are, are full, full of your, of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy thy will be done, on earth earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this this day day our daily bread, bread, and and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive forgive those who trespass trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy worthy that you should enter under under my roof, roof, but only only say the word and my soul soul shall be healed. healed.
Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the blessed Rose of Lima, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.